Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. Today, I'm looking at the Chinese Type T34 Tier 5 medium tank. And lots and lots and lots of you have been asking me to start looking at the Chinese tanks. And I don't know what it is I've done to offend you, but the only reason I can possibly imagine that you would have for asking me to look at the Chinese tanks, the mediums in particular, is because you all hate me and you want me to suffer because this is one of the biggest turds it has ever been my misfortune to drive. I just don't understand why this tank is so incredibly bad. Well, I do. Um, and I'll explain it to you. The, and it, it's... It's a funny old thing, because functionally this tank is almost completely identical to the tank it's based on that thing. And I love that thing. The T-34. The Russian T-34. Uh, if you compare the stats of the two tanks, they are pretty much the same machine. And yet I love one, and I absolutely despise the other. So, they both have 450 hit points. They both weigh 29 tons with 500 horsepower engines. So they've both got the same power to weight ratio with a minor difference. Um, the speed limit is almost exactly the same, 56 or 55. The traverse speed is almost exactly the same, 40, 42. The hull armour is identical. The turret armour is identical. The rate of fire of the gun is identical. The turret traverse is one degree difference, 49 and 48. The view range is exactly the same. The signal range is exactly the same. So, well, is it the gun? Well, what you have with the Chinese tank is pretty much a Chinese copy of the Russian 57mm ZIS-4. They're both 57mm guns, they both have the same rate of fire, the same penetration, the same damage, the same accuracy, the same aiming time. And yet, bizarrely, <laughs> um, the Chinese one weighs 300 kilos less. <sighs> Can't explain that one. But functionally, they're the same gun. So, what is it that is so different from this tank, which I love, and... This tank, which I wouldn't piss on if it was on fire. It's the gun depression. And back when I looked at the Chinese tanks, when they first appeared on the test server, this is what I said about the Chinese tanks back then, particularly the mediums. I actually quite liked the Chinese heavies. I thought they were really good tanks. From the IS-2 up, I, th I thought that, that all the Chinese heavies were, were good, solid, reliable, heavy tanks. I never really played the Chinese lights. But I've, I've heard very, very good things about them. But the Chinese mediums, I absolutely hated. Because they had no gun depression. Um, and then when they came back on the test server, uh, one patch later, ready to be released, I had a quick look at them and confirmed that, yep, the gun depression was still garbage on the Chinese mediums. And, and for that reason, I have never touched the Chinese medium tanks on the live server. But so many of you have been saying, Jingles, you've got to try the Chinese, why do you keep forgetting the Chinese? That, you know, okay, I did, I tried them. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I, I just made the wrong choice by playing this one first. Because the gun depression on that gun, you can drop that gun barrel down about that much. And that's it. Two or three degrees it, I, d I don't know. I don't know what the number is, but it's not enough. And it is horrible. It makes this thing such a nightmare to drive. Um, but, you know, you might be sitting there saying, well, Jingle, surely you just don't know how to drive the tank. Well, uh, possibly. You know, there's such a small difference between two tanks. Can't possibly, can't possibly explain why the two drive and perform so differently you think so let's uh, prove it with science there you go this is noobmeter.com um, very useful site and here are the statistics for all tier 5 medium tanks played in the month between the 4th of April and the 4th of May 
and they're all here, even the, uh, oh, where is it? There you go. Even the Easy 4 Sherb, which is very, very rare, and you can see there's only 9,000 games been played in that. But if you sort it by games played, there it is, the Chinese T-34. It's the third most played tank. The third most played Tier 5 medium tank. And, uh, you know, that's 236,000 games played. That's a big enough sample to uh, draw statistics from. And if you sort by win rate, you'll be unsurprised to see that the M4 Sherman derp with uh, gold ammo and the howitzer is just dominating everybody. Yeah, big surprise there. But where's the Type T-34? Oh, there it is. The only thing worse than the Type T-34 is the Panzer 34. Big surprise there. Where's the Russian T-34? Well, it's not great, but it's four places higher. So, player win rating. And they're sort of next to each other there, but it's still the third worst. Tank OP rating? Second worst. Overall win rating? third worst the, the, you know, the only tanks worse than the Type T-34 consistently, well consistently the Panzer 34 which is just a massive pile of crap but oh, and it's consistently achieving worse statistics not much worse but over a large enough sample small differences matter consistently achieving worse statistics than the Russian T-34. So, why? The, the, the only difference between the two is the gun depression. And, and that lack of gun depression really does make that much of a difference. So, does my experience of the Type T-34 echo what we saw in the monthly statistics at Noob Meter? Um, no. No, not at all. Uh, my experience is worse. There's my T-34. 179 games, 102 victories, 57% win rate, which is alright. Um, I've destroyed 175 tanks in those 179 games. I've got, there we go, three top guns, two confederates, I've got a steel wall, this thing only has 45mm of armour, four snipers and an invader. 63% hit ratio. 93,000 experience earned on this machine. Uh, maximum experience per battle, 1,627, undoubled. It's not bad. I've had some great games in the T-34. Now, the number of games that I've played in the Type T-34 are statistically insignificant. Right? I have not played enough games to get a, a decent data set, if you like, from which to draw conclusions. But there it is. Seven battles participated, zero victories, 86 defeats, one draw, one battle survived. In seven games I've managed to kill four tanks, the most I've ever killed in a game is one. I actually have a better hit ratio, 64%, than in my T-34, and I've done 2,000 damage. It's just awful. And what you find driving this thing is that you get yourself into the positions that work in other tanks and just don't work in this because you can't point the gun at the target. Or in order to point the gun at the target, you have to go over the rise of a hill and you just get shredded. The number of times I've been hit once in this tank, it only has 450 hit points, remember, been hit once and left on 20% health, where one more hit is going to kill me, right at the start of the bloody game. Because you want to shoot enemy tanks, and you cannot do it in this bloody thing without exposing so much of yourself that you make yourself an easy target. You have to play this thing so cautiously um, that it kind of negates the fact that it's a fast flanking medium. It's so frustrating. I, I have not enjoyed. I mean, I, I mentioned in a previous video that you can. It doesn't matter how good or bad a tank is. That the first half dozen to a dozen games you play in a machine will color your experience uh, and, and how you think of that machine. If the first 
seven games you play in any tank are with teams of donkeys that are so bad that, that there is no possible way. You know, the kind of games where you don't ever lose by anything better than 5-10. You know, that nobody on you, where, the, where you're the only person on your team in a tier 7 game and you're driving your tier 5 medium and you're the only person on your team who gets a kill in the entire match you know where your teams are that bad then it doesn't matter how good a machine you are driving you are going to associate that machine in your mind with abject failure and you're going to hate driving that tank and other people are going to have great games in it and they're going to think what's what's wrong with you what, you know it's a great tank but you can't shake that association of total and utter failure in your head with a machine. And that's what's happening to me with the Type T34. My first seven games in this machine, they weren't just losses. They were, f such, they were failures of such magnitude <laughs> that I cannot look at this machine anymore without thinking, you suck. Uh, you know, it's like I want to write a letter to Wargaming. Dear Wargaming, I recently purchased your Chinese Tier 5 medium tank, the Type T-34. Uh, I'm writing to you to ask for my money bank. This tank doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's that kind of situation for me with this machine. Um, I'm actually looking back at the M3 Lee and thinking, you know, that shit wasn't so bad after all, <laughs> after driving this thing. And, and, and it's... Yeah, there are just... For example, when you're on an assault map on Corellia, you're in a fast, medium flanking tank. You want to go around the flanks. But all of the positions that you normally drive to in a fast, medium flanking tank on a map like Corellia, for example, they're all on higher or lower ground than the guys on the other team. And you just can't shoot at them. It, I've played games in this thing where I haven't fired a single shot before dying because I just could not find a patch of ground that would allow me to shoot at the enemy team without exposing myself to such a degree that I just got derped to death by the KV-1S's on the other team or the SU-100's or the SU-100Y's. It's, just, it's so frustrating. So I really, really don't want to drive any more of the, Russia, uh, the Chinese mediums. And if you go again to Noob Meter and you look up the stats of the other Chinese medium tanks, and it's just the medium tanks, right? The, the light tanks seem to do quite well. The Chinese heavies, by statistics, do, do very, very well indeed. They're some of the strongest heavy tanks in their tier. But the mediums are just bloody awful. And the only real difference between the Chinese mediums and every other bloody tank in the game is that lack of gun depression it is such a small thing and it's so massively significant so I really really don't like this thing I mean I, I have nothing but respect for anybody who can make this thing work you, I don't know how you do it and I know that there are people out there that love this tank I do not understand why I, I am definitely not one of them and uh, well done to you if you can get results in this thing I may have to come back. If I actually start getting good results, or if I just win a game in this thing, I will probably come back and um, revise my opinion once I've shaken the whole associating this tank with nothing but abject failure in my mind. But at the moment, I, I really don't have anything good to say about it. And, and it just amazes me the way something as small as the complete lack of gun depression in this thing just totally, totally changes the experience between that and that. This great tank. That absolutely bloody awful. So I may as well share the misery, show you the sort of thing I've had to put up with while driving this thing. Be warned, it is not pretty. Okay. Let's have another go. This time, I'm going to try to stay on flat ground as much as I can, you know, in the world of tanks, which it's not easy. And put the gun to work, because the gun itself is pretty good. It's just the gun depression that sucks. 
in just about every respect other than gun depression. It's the same gun as the gun on the T-34. There's a T-34 in front of me. Right. Okay. Can't get over there. But it looks like we're needed on this corner anyway. T-34 is doing a good work. Bingo! A kill! Who'd have thought it? Oh, KV-1S over there. See, this T-34 is uh, he's doing a decent job. And it's not going too badly. Again, circumflexes in his T-49, giving covering fire from behind us. Unfortunately, we'll look at the map. Well, we are quite fast. And just look at these donkeys. Where are you going? L look at the map. They're, we're being capped. <laughs> there are two heavies in our base. At least two heavies in our base. Oh, two heavies and a medium in our base. What are you doing? Why are you idiots still going that way? Okay. So, don't worry, the tier 5 medium will go back to reset the cap against all the tier 6 heavies. Because, you know, that'll work. We've even got a T-46 coming back. Oh, bless him. And an Electo. So all the Tier 4s and 5s are going back to reset the Tier 6s. Well done, T. Good job. One hit from an M6. And I'm on 50% health. and then derped by KV-1S. So that was another horrific loss. Actually, now this was a draw. Look at these idiots. Third game in the Type T-34. Again with circumflexes. He's completely alone on that flank in his T-49. So I come over to back him up. And then I'll look at the map. And it's another team of complete retards. Apparently there's a whole bunch of uh, windows in this farmhouse down here that they're all eagerly rushing down here to give a damn good licking to. So I'm yelling at circumflexes, get back, get back, there's only you and me here. We, we, we don't even have covering fire from the bloody tank destroyers. I mean, what are they doing? So yeah, we've, we've already lost this game. Un no question about it, this, this is another massive fail. And there's that gun depression. I, can't. I mean, I want to help circumflexes, but I can't. I just can't get the gun down. He's taken a hit. I cannot point the gun at these tanks, because he's having the same problem. And here we go. So, that was fun. So, the next stop for the failed train is Erlenberg Station.
Now this is a, it's a pretty much just a tier 5 game with some artillery and, and the odd scout. Um, it's surprising that you see so many pounds of 3 4s because they are so just universally crap. But you do see a lot of Type T-34s as well. I mean, 236,000 games played in Type T-34s over the course of the last month. And nobody on this side. Which probably means that there are tank destroyers in those bushes. And this is surprising. I mean, I don't know what sort of view range an, SC an S-35CA has, but that guy next to me was not hidden by the bushes. I was. But I didn't get spotted until here. And S-35CAs with the 105mm guns hurt a lot. So now I'm on 20% health. Great start. And this was just one of those games. Uh, you know, everybody's had the, those games where you cannot hit anything, and when you hit, you just can't penetrate. And it's not the fault of the gun. The game just decides that it's going to kick you in the balls over and over and over again every now and then. There's nothing you can do about it. You, you can do the best you can, it doesn't make any difference. The game's just decided you are going to suck in this game. You'll see what I mean. Now we know there's an AT2 over there. There he is. And <laughs> look at how much this guy has to expose himself in order to shoot at that AT2. So... Yeah, he's having fun in his Type T-34 as well. Well, I'm not going to do that. Screw that. I'm a one-shot kill for that guy. I'm going to go around. And I suppose the tank I keep comparing this to... I mean, the T-34 is the obvious comparison, but I'd, the lousy gun depression makes this thing more like the Russian Tier 7 medium, the KV-13. The difference is that while the KV-13 has garbage gun depression as well, I don't mind going over ridges like that in the KV-13, because it's got 120mm of armour at the front. And I'm not frightened of any AT-2s when I'm driving the KV-13 even if I have to give them the front of my tank to shoot at in order for me to point the gun at them. And this is the sort of thing I'm talking about when the game just decides, screw you. That thing only has 103mm of armour at the side and my gun has 110, 111mm of penetration. And I've damaged him once. Seven shots fired. Doesn't end there, of course. And it's not a criticism of the tank. It's just, you know what it's like. Sometimes the game just decides, fuck you, you're going to lose. And it doesn't matter what you do or how you do it, you are screwed. I've been sitting here on 92 health for the, or almost the entire game, so if these guys think I'm going first, they can think again. There's still a Stug, a Wolf, hell, anything left in this game can practically one-shot kill me. Type T-34 over there, looks like he's hiding behind that house, and if he pops out, I'll have him. But he doesn't look like he's interested in popping out, and of course, absolutely everybody... Oh, look at this, we're losing 610. Absolutely everybody who went round the other side has just died. Um, and hasn't done anything. <laughs> Our artillery were the most effective players on the team, and they were just abandoned to the enemy scouts, so good job, team. Now, what I was talking about, the game just deciding, screw you. I had a brief moment of hope here, shooting at this Stoke 3. And now watch this. One shot missed. 
Two shots missed. Somebody else hits him. Three shots missed. <laughs> you may as well just give up. <laughs> yeah, no, well, you know, when, when, when you start... And it's not the fault of the gun here. I finally, finally get myself into a position where I can use the bloody gun on this thing. Where there are targets that I can actually point the gun at. And it just misses. <laughs> that, that, that does not usually happen. Don't, don't, don't go away from this video thinking, oh my god, the gun, the gun's awful. It, it's horrible accuracy. No, it's not. It's actually very, very good accuracy, especially for Russian. Um, great rate of fire, good penetration. But sometimes the game just decides, fuck you, fatty, you're gonna fail. And there is nothing you can do about it. Oh, I've been spotted. It's probably that stug that I failed to kill. And, you know, what, what can you... What are you going to do? You're sitting here on 92 health. There's only you and one other tank left. I mean, you know, you've lost. I mean, I've carried games before. In this sort of position. It doesn't happen often, but... When I say this sort of position, I mean when there's only two of us left. And certainly not when I'm driving a 45mm armoured tank. Who only has 92 health left. Well, here it is. This is the only game I ever won. Driving a Type T-34. So here we are. On Sound River. And I figure, oh, that looks like a good spot. Is he going to make space for me? I mean, you know, he just... He saw I was heading for that spot. He's like, oh, no, you don't. My spot, my spot. Screw you, Chinaman. Are you going to make space? No, of course he isn't. Can I actually do anything else up here? No, of course I can't. Right. So a crusader's gone off to die, which is nice. No, I'm going to have to find another spot. I can't even park on the rock next to him. Uh, Stug over there. No, of course not. <laughs> Who was I fooling? What was I thinking? Well, it's a good start. We're winning 2-0. 2-1. Um, <laughs> no, we're not. We're losing 2-1. Come on. Oh, great. <sighs> T-43. No, T-34 even. Yay, I've done some damage to an enemy tank. Oh, I've done two lots of damage to an enemy tank. That's a first. And I haven't been spotted. T-34's view range isn't good enough to see me from here. So that's good. What's this bloody Cromwell sitting up there having a field day in the spot that I was heading for in the first place? But eh, he got there before I did. And their SU-100 just killed their own T-49, so it finally looks like I, 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 the enemy team having the kind of teams I have had in every game I've played in the Type T-34. Now, I know how bad the gun depression is in this... Oh, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Here it comes. Nope. Gun depression isn't good enough to fire over that ridge. You know, that massive, huge... Himalayan ridge over there. However, just 
reverse in case. Remember, Sixth Sense takes three seconds to kick in. They could have still seen me. But it turns out that this spot right here. Well, I can't actually shoot at anything, obviously. This would be a bad spot for the gun depression in any tank. I mean, there are American tanks that wouldn't be able to fire at anything from there. So that's, you know, it's not a complaint about the Type T-34. But I can spot them from there. Oh, great. I've been spotted again. You see, here we go. It's just those bushes. Shit, now they're both pointing their guns at me. And my driver's dead. And, oh, look. Down to less than 20% health again. So, I cannot... And this is the thing. Other tanks with crappy gun depression, like the KV-13, there are only... You know, the, the, the tanks shooting back at me don't have great penetration on their guns. But they've got good enough penetration to kill a Type T-34. Something like the KV-13, because people often say to me, Jingles, why do you think the KV-13 is so good? It's got crappy gun depression, it doesn't have very good penetration on its gun. Well, yeah, but it's got armour. I could get into that position in something like the KV-13 and kill those tanks. You cannot do that in another tank with crappy gun depression that doesn't have any armour. Look at that, Yak Panzer IV. Just... Oh, and I want to shoot him, but I can't. All I can do is spot him. Same with that KV-1 down there. 47 health KV-1. I want to shoot him. Can't do it. Their SU-8, sitting there on three kills. That's good artillery. I'm sitting here on 74 health. I know exactly who the SU-8 is going to aim at next if he gets the chance. So I, I just, I cannot be spotted. Now that the KV-1 is dead, however, and Billy no mates in his Cromwell is also dead, in retrospect this probably wasn't the best decision. What I probably should have done with the dead KV-1 is head down and hook around and I would have probably had slightly more success but then again I also might have died because they still have two very sneaky stand, uh, tank destroyers and very good artillery so they would, they would have probably seen me first so you could argue yeah you should have chased around after them yeah but that would probably just have gotten me killed instead there we go Hellcat's taken a pounding from the side there. There's somebody watching that patch of open ground. Hellcat's dead. SU-8. Stug, Stug hits him. SU-8 finishes him off. Don't know where that Stug is. He's over there somewhere, but I can't actually see him. And they did have a very, very good artillery player. But Oh, and I've been spotted by the Cromwell. Back up. And they do have a very, very good artillery player. So I'm getting the hell out of here. I need to get into low ground. That Cromwell can easily kill me. I only have 74 health. However, he's given his position away. And our artillery isn't bad either. KV SU-8 nails one of our stugs. That guy. <laughs> Old Kata 94 there. In the SU-8 and the enemy team. Yeah. Keep an eye open. If you ever... If you ever bump into Carter 94 playing artillery on the enemy team, stand by to get your ass kicked. He was good. And it was... Uh, he's been spotted now, though. Now his days are numbered. So, the Cromwell. Unfortunately, he's in lower ground than me, so I'm going to have to just hope his, his gun probably isn't going to be pointing this way. It looks like our Stug is shooting at him. Or possibly the KV-1. Yeah, KV-1 killed the Cromwell. All they have left is their artillery. So, And, and that is the best game I ever had in the Type T-34, and it was garbage. Well, it wasn't garbage. I actually I actually contributed a lot to the team's victory in this game, but it wasn't through doing direct damage, which is intensely frustrating when you're driving a fast medium tank. And I could have done more direct damage if I'd been willing to get myself killed but I wasn't, so I didn't. So let's see the results of this one.
Now, you might consider that quite surprising. Set class mastery badge, 1680 XP, 30,000 credits. But, you know, that's the eighth game I've played in this thing. I'll normally get my second class mastery badge in at least the first game that I play. And if you were to sort that by damage done, I would be, well, I wouldn't be at the bottom. There were, <laughs> there were players far worse than me on that team. But I certainly wouldn't be sitting second from the top. On the other hand, if you sort it by XP earned, the only person that did better than me was on KV2. And that's all down to one thing, and it's not the damage I did. And there it is. 1500 spotting damage. That's what earned me all of my credits and all of my XP in that game. And I was just lucky that I was in a position where my team could take advantage of the spotting that I was doing. And it was those guys on the corner, the Cromwell, the T-34, the KV-1, that my team killed for me because I was lighting them up from behind those bushes on the corner. But that's all I could do. You saw what happened every single time I went out far enough to be able to point the gun at them. I got pummeled. I only took three hits in that game. I did actually bounce one. It left me on less than 20% health. Uh, but, you know, that's a tier 5 medium tanks a lot in life. They are fragile machines. They don't have a lot of health. They can't take a lot of hits. It's no different between this or the T-34 or the M4 Sherman or any of the other tier 5 mediums. And it's because of that that you find in tier 5 medium tank battles, it's the tank that gets the first hit. The tank that gets the first shot into the target is usually the one that wins. And that's never going to be this machine. And it's all down to that gun depression. Well, it's probably not going to come as a massive surprise to any of you that I'm finding it very, very hard to recommend the Type T-34. Um, I have hated every second of driving this tank. And it's kind of like the KV-13, because I kept harping on about the lack of gun depression in the KV-13, one of the two Russian Tier 7 medium tanks, uh, when I did a review of that. And I, and I still like the KV-13. I think it's a lot of fun to drive. I think I'm probably going to like the Comet as well. Um, wouldn't surprise me at all if those two turned out to be my two favourite Tier 7 mediums. But I don't think I'm ever going to get to see the Chinese Tier 7 medium, because this thing has completely cock-blocked me. I, it, this, driving this tank has been such a horrible experience that... I, I just don't want to drive any more Chinese mediums. Chinese lights, still looking forward to those. Chinese heavies, played them on the test server, loved them. They still seem to do very, very well. But the Chinese mediums, the, the, the one problem I had with the Chinese mediums on the test server that just killed any interest I had in them. And, and, and the problem that I had, the experience that I had driving the Chinese mediums on the test server is the reason why it's taken me this long to drive a Chinese tank was because of that lack of gun depression. I just, it, it's, it's, it's funny how you do, you don't, you know, you, you discover things about yourself. I didn't realise how much I relied on tanks having adequate gun depression um, to get the kills that I do and to, you know, to drive into the positions that I do knowing that I can do something when I get there because I'm used to driving tanks that have, if not great, then at least adequate gun depression. And when I drove the KV-13, that was the only fly in the ointment with the KV-13. But the KV-13 is fast manoeuvrable and it's got fantastic armour. This doesn't. Um, I could, with proper angling, compensate for the lack of gun depression on the KV-13 by exposing myself but still being able to bounce shots. That just does not happen in a tank with 45mm of armour. Uh, this thing is a death trap. Uh, you could probably do reasonably well in it, playing it as a scout. Because it, it's, it is fast, it is manoeuvrable, it is kind of low profile, it does have pretty good view range. And, and the radio isn't bad. And you will be able to get it into flanking positions where it can spot the enemy team. It just can't shoot them. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem for a medium tank, but not such an issue for a scout. So, I don't know. Um, it, guys, if you are having fun driving your Type T-34, ignore me. Right, Carry on doing whatever the hell it is you're doing. Uh, and please let me know, <laughs> because I just don't get it. Um, I am probably going to end up selling this thing and free XPing my way to the IS-2 
and the uh, the Chinese light tanks because it is just too painful to drive to continue. Um, this this tank has beaten me, and the last tank that managed that was the M3 Lee. So that's the kind of company I'm putting this thing in. My apologies to you Chinese medium drivers, or perhaps I should say my sympathies to you Chinese medium drivers. If you're making these things work, then phew, you're a better tank driver than I am. I'm just not interested in them anymore. They've just been such a horrible experience. As always, folks, take care on that battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.